children today i will tell you an interesting incident about a boy named gopal gopal had come to visit his grandmother in his summer vacations he was very hungry he saw something kept in a small tiffin box kept on the dining table he opened up the box and just when he was about to eat his grandmother came and took away the tiffin from his hand she stopped gopal from eating that food as it had gone bad gopal could not understand that how can food ever go bad grandmother gave him a fresh fruit to eat and told him all about how food becomes stale and gets spoiled in heat because of the germs in this chapter we will also learn about how the food gets spoiled and what can we do to save it from getting spoiled food is our basic need we cannot live without food we want to consume food that is safe nutritious and fresh food we can tell whether a food is stale or fresh by checking it for freshness aroma color texture and flavor the safe storage and handling of food is very important if we do not handle it safely germs will develop in it which can cause serious diseases like food poisoning stomach ache diarrhea and vomiting food preservation Food preservation involves treating and handling food to either greatly slow down or stop spoilage that is caused or accelerated by microorganisms. Preservation normally involves preventing the growth of fungi, bacteria and other microorganisms. We should always wash fruits and vegetables before eating them because unwashed fruits and vegetables carry germs and eggs of worms that may cause serious diseases. They may also be contaminated by the chemicals sprayed on them. We should never eat the food that is peeled, cut or uncovered as it can be contaminated by flies and dust. Since the beginning of time man has searched for ways to increase the life of food when the methods of food preservation were not known then the human were forced to travel from one place to another in search of food ancient cave men in cold locations discovered the first method of food preservation they used to lay the meat of fish and other small animals on the ice ancient men in warmer climates discovered that drying food in the sun also helps in prolonging the food life the earliest methods of food preservation are still used today though the variety of food preservation methods and technology has greatly expanded some of the popular methods of food preservation are as follows pickling involves the use of acids such as vinegar to kill bacteria in food so that they do not cause illness when consumed You must have seen your grandmother preparing various pickles of mango, lemon and jackfruit at home. Which one do you like the most? Freezing. Freezing involves preservation of food in a low temperature storage conditions. Milk for instance is stored in the refrigerator. Milk has bacteria naturally living in it. and will spoil in 2 or 3 hours if left out at room temperature however by putting it in the refrigerator the activity of bacteria is slowed down and the milk can stay consumable even though bacteria are still present canning canning requires heating food to a specific temperature to kill food spoiling bacteria heat forces air from the canning jar and as it cools down the jar is sealed then the germs cannot enter the jar and the food can be safely kept for quite some time dehydrating dehydrating removes moisture from food and prevents spoilage dehydrated food doesn't lose its nutrients and is easy to store in an airtight container raisins are preserved with this method jellying 
Food may also be preserved by cooking in a material that solidifies to form a gel. Such materials include gelatin, agar and maize flour etc. Using gelling to preserve food produces marmalade, fruit preserves and jelly. Adding sugar. Sugar is used to preserve food in the form of jams and jellies. Sugar binds with the liquid and makes it difficult for the microorganisms to grow. Adding salt. Salting or curing draws moisture from the food items through a process of osmosis. Meat is cured with salt or sugar or a combination of the both. Vacuum packing. Vacuum packing stores food in an airtight bag or bottle. This vacuum environment does not let the bacteria get oxygen that is essential for their survival. Drying Drying removes most of the moisture from foods. Thus, microorganisms cannot grow and enzyme action is slowed down. Dried food should be stored in airtight containers to prevent moisture from rehydrating the products and allowing microbial growth. You must have seen your grandmother drying papars, badiya and mangodis on the roof spread on the bed sheet. Have you ever tasted these dishes? If yes, how did you like them? Do you know what or who spoils the food? The food items like bread slices get spoiled if kept in open for a day or two. The reason behind this is the growth of microorganisms on the piece of bread. These microorganisms are known as molds. Molds are forms of fungi that are found naturally in the environment. Molds are in the soil and on dead and decaying matter. They play a very important role in the breakdown of the leaves and wood, etc. On one hand, these microorganisms clean the environment and on the other hand, they are also responsible for the spoilage of food and a number of diseases in human beings. Let me ask you a question. Why do the cut fruits turn brown? You would have observed if you leave the pieces of fruits like apple or banana in the open, they turn brown. The reason behind this is a chemical reaction in which oxygen reacts with the iron present in the fruits and makes it brown. This chemical reaction is known as oxidation. However, not all microorganisms are harmful. Microscopic organisms such as rhizobium fix atmospheric nitrogen and play a major role in nitrogen cycle. In food industries, microorganisms are used for the purpose of brewing, in winemaking, baking and manufacturing dairy products like cheese and curd. That's all for the day kids. Bye!